Open Labs. Um, so you can see here, this was actually live uh, from a show that we did with Seagate. Uh, Seagate is also one of our AI partners um, for all their drives and any uh, drive issues or failures. That's all integrated with our system um, to give you a lot better management of your storage system. Um, so on the right hand side, we can see all of our faces pop in. Uh, so if we click any single one of them, they automatically pop in. Uh, <laughs> he clearly named himself on this one. Uh, you can see it gives you a general age, um, a gender and an emotion. Um, and then if the person is enrolled, then we'll give them a name. Uh, this can be searchable in terms of just looking through faces on the right hand side, or if you actually need to search for a specific person. Um, so for instance, I know we had Oscar at the show with us, uh, who's from our team. Uh, we can now see all the times Oscar appeared um, and it will automatically brings up. Um, I'm sure he's not happy with that age, but <laughs> he'll do with it. Uh, and then we can now see every time that Oscar was on and you can see how fast uh, and accessible this footage is um, and we can search by date and time. Um, we can also search by emotion or uh, gender if we don't know. So for instance, if someone said there was a female um, and I don't know, she was exhibiting happiness, now we can see all the females that exhibited happiness um, and they will pop up and then when we see the one we want. So you can see it also uh, can pick up eyeglasses there. Uh, so you can see it says eyeglass is true. Uh, we can even search on a specific zone of the screen. Uh, so that's how detailed this um, this integration goes. So if I want to just see any time a female came on this side of the screen um, that exhibited happiness, uh, then we now have that right there. So you can see how detailed we can get. It all appears on the timeline as well. If you're looking for, a, like I said, a specific date or time, so you can see uh, here we had some zones where there was that uh, event occur, um, and then we can obviously uh, pull up our thumbnails uh, if we want to see more um, and try and kind of get down to that level a bit quicker. Um, in terms of the bi uh, bi-directional communication, uh, one of the huge advantages with our system uh, without having to leave or go to a different screen. Um, so for some of you know, we have what we try to do is a single UI and we don't like to have to move away from the monitoring and kind of investigation screen to do things. Uh, so if this woman was, I don't know, caught stealing something, uh, so therefore we want to know next time she comes back onto that stand, I can simply right click, uh, hit create a person, and then I can add, for instance, the name, and this will go back to the Vision Labs database, uh, enroll that person inside of our, the Vision Labs database, and we can then set an alert that say we called her Thief 101. Um, we can now set an alert that when Thief 101 comes back and is seen on one of our cameras on our booth, automatically notify me, launch a screen. Um, we can do you know, push notifications now in 4.1. We'll, we'll do a bit, bit of what's in 4.1 a little bit later. Um, so really powerful in terms of not having to ever leave uh, our software to set up all these alerts and notifications, but still having the full power of the Vision Lab system uh, in the back end. Um, so the way that that works is they actually develop a plugin that sits inside of our, our NX Witness server that then does all the facial recognition um, or facial detection, and then sends the face to their Vision Lab server for the actual recognition, um, which makes it a lot more lightweight, and faster, and easier to use. Uh, so this is a good example of our facial recognition um, integration with Vision Labs. Uh, there's a few other companies we do facial recognition integrations with. Um, it really depends on what you're looking for. Uh, we have some companies that will do, you know, hair color, eye color. Um, so if someone's telling you a description, you can search back based on what the actual person looked like uh, in more detail. Um, so I'm going to jump to another system. Uh, this one's a remote system in Spain. 